And welcome back. With me from the Nebraska Children's Home so Society is Lana Temple Plotz, um, CEO. Lana, thank you so much for sure. joining me. Thank you for having us. So big year yes. for the Nebraska Children's yes. Home Society, 125 years. Yes. Hard to believe. Let's talk a little bit about how how it all started sure. way back when. Sure, yeah, we started in 1893, so 125 years old this year. Uh, started by Reverend Queevy and his wife, Mary Ava. I always love to mention her name, because you know she did at least half the work. Yes, oh, for <laughs> sure, for sure. Um, but they came to Nebraska with the goal of really focusing in on kids and children. There was a lot of children in need, a lot of poverty back then, and their focus was really on focusing on kids and making sure that children stayed out of orphanages. Yeah. So they're part of the Children's Home Society movement, which again was focused on placing children in homes, not institutions. Um, and so they originally took children into their own home, and then as they grew uh, the organization, children were placed all across the state. Okay, and tell me, um, as we look at the past uh, 125 years, one of the things that's kind of new this year is you created a new logo. Yes, absolutely. All right, so talk about that. Why yeah. is that important? So um, our new logo is really important because it shows the diversity of our organization and all the things we're working on. Um, and so it's focused on in on one continuous line around a child and all the families, individuals that are part of that family that both are in the home and outside of the home um, to support that child. Yeah, and the services, um, let's just talk a little bit about the services sure. that you provide today. Sure, so we've really focused in on four areas, adoption, foster care, um, family support, and early childhood education. Of course, we have a long history with adoption and foster care. Uh, we've done that throughout our, our whole entire history, but we really are doing a lot more focused on family um, support, which is prevention, early intervention. Our goal is really the child first, so um, children first in everything we do, and we wanna focus in on whatever the parents need and the help that they need. And where do you provide these services at? So we're statewide. We have nine, okay. 11 offices across the state in nine locations. Okay. So um, Omaha here, we have three, three locations, and then across the state, Lincoln, Norfolk, North Platte, um, Grand Island, and Kearney, and uh, Scotts Bluff. Okay. Well, one of the reasons you're sitting here, in addition to 125 years, I will just show this. You are on the cover of our October, November yes. issue that yeah. just came out. It's just hitting the streets and people's mailboxes now. Um, and, you know, I was reading through the story, and I really, um, was touched by uh, the gentleman, who, who Carson, the, the Kent, Kent, yeah, Car Carson. Uh -huh. Okay, yeah. So he is, he's the grandson yes. of of Randall Beer. Okay, yes. That that worked for the children's yes. home, and it was interesting to read how he, you know, if he got a call because this was like 1932 yeah. to. Absolutely. Um, I think he was there like for 25 years yes, or so. Yes, he was there so, a very so, long time. So this was back in the day, as they were saying, where he would get a call from Scott's Bluff. Yeah. And he would just head out to Scott's yeah. Bluff to pick up a child. Yeah. Or, or children. And at that time, there were no really paved highways. No. I mean, there were a few, but very minimal. Yes. Um, sometimes not even dirt roads. So, I mean, yeah. um, whether it was him or, or somebody else, how they, it was just so important yeah. to go get a child. Um, yeah. And I can't even imagine what it would be like to, I mean, how long it would take. Yeah, it's crazy just to think about because I know even when we started in 1893, one of the goals was to get um, volunteers from across the state. And we had uh, 93 councils, in one in each county. And those councils were responsible for looking at the needs of their community yeah. and figuring out who are the families in need in our community and how can we help them. And they'd, ha they'd have volunteers that go out to people's homes and if, say there was a um, woman whose husband had just died like in a farming accident and she was struggling, um, our volunteers would go out and help this family and maybe place the children in another home that might be down the road a little bit, either by car or yeah. by train, and volunteers would take those children to that next location. So really it's just amazing as an organization, 125 years yeah. of just community-wide support. And what has just happened over that 20, 125 years to yeah. what, you know, now is we're just used to this and that, and back then it was just, it was challenging communication and, and transportation yeah, and all that. Absolutely. So I so also just want to speak, um, as you know, uh, my connection with the children's home mm -hmm. is I'm a birth mother. Yes. And um, 18 years ago g gave birth to, to a little girl yes. um, at a time in my life where making an adoption plan was, was the right thing uh -huh. for me. So uh, 
but never really looking at it. I mean, it just changes yes. the way you look at it um, when you go through that process. And so many people are impacted, whether it's me, whether it's my family, whether it's yeah. the adoptive family. Um, and I will say you have been you have been a part of my life ever yeah. since or before um, this little girl was born. Right. And I remember afterwards because it was. Though it was the right thing to do, oh, it was yeah. the most difficult, and I, I just I had no idea. Yeah, heart wrenching. Um, yeah, um, I actually really enjoyed being pregnant, and when um, this little girl was born, uh, it I just, you know, a part yeah. of you is is amputated in a way. Yes. Even though it's it's the right thing, and and Nebraska Children's Home Society, you guys were there with me, um, you know, yeah. up until this day. I know if I ever need anything, I can come back. Yeah. And, and talk to you and. And talk to yeah well I think that's just part of the just the joy of working for this organization I mean 125 years we've been focused on children and the families that surround those children and so our goal is to help anyone who needs our help yeah. in whatever way that they need it and once you come through our doors you're with us for life so you can call us today yes. you can call us 10 years from now you can call us 15 years from now 20 and we're there to help you with whatever you need. And that's one of the things that I love about working for the Children's Home is that our first question is, how can we help and what do you need? Right. And we figure it out. Yeah, you do, you yeah. do. It's great. So let's, how can the community help Nebraska Children's Home? I know there's various ways. You've been in our giving guide for years. Yes. So there's lots of, of great ways. Um, but tell us, just yeah, tell us how can people help to support your sure. organization? Yeah, so you, the Giving Guide is a great example because we've had individuals look up in our in the Giving Guide and, and come to us and say, we heard you needed blankets or we heard you needed supplies. So, you know, for us, donations are always helpful, either monetary donations or physical donations of blankets or diapers, volunteering. We love to have volunteers come to us. Um, that's really important to us. Um, if you're interested in fostering or learning more about parenting and how to be a better parent or you feel like you yeah. have been a good parent or you have things to add to parenting, um, you know, in your particular case, I know that there's might have been opportunities in the past for you to talk to other birth mothers yes. about your experience. Always and how, happy to do that again. Yeah, so just, absolutely. Yeah. And even to adoptive parents who sometimes yeah. are struggling to figure out how is this going to work and being I able do, to talk with them. Yeah, I do remember I did speak to a group um, probably within the first year and they were adoptive parents yeah. just to say this is what my experience as a birth mother was yeah. because they don't know no. you know um and it, it's just new it's just such a a interesting journey for everybody because you're not necessarily there because you want to be yes whether you're you can't have children or you're having a child and you're like this is just not the right, right time or the right thing for me yeah you're brought together by circumstances that um you know aren't yeah you know ideal and yeah. And, and whatnot, so. Well, and I think that's the other piece about the children's home that I really appreciate is the education that we provide. Yes. So to you, when you were in your situation, to the adoptive parents, just to make sure that everyone has all the information they need to make informed choices and Absolutely. informed decisions, whatever those decisions are. Absolutely. So yeah. And I also wanna say you do have a young professionals organization. They have a, an event once a year called Homegrown. Yes. Um, but, but it, which is a great event, but, um, just happened last week. Yeah. So, but this is a way for young professionals to get involved. Absolutely. In it's called Branch. Yeah. And, and it's all focused on um, raising awareness and education and raising um, funds for the children's home. Right. So if you have young professionals out there who are interested in learning more about Branch, they can call us yeah. at Nebraska Children's Home, speak to me or one it, of our folks and learn more about it. It's a pretty strong, solid YP organization. Yeah. I mean, yeah. It's yeah, they do great things. Yeah, we're having an event and we have an event and that's always fun. Yeah. And, opportunity to get together and learn more. So yeah. So let's again talk about how people can learn more with the website. Yeah, so www.nchs.org. Okay. And go to the website. And there's lots of information yes. there I know. They can read about us in your new yes. in the new Metro magazine. And again, it just came out. It's uh, you can pick it up. It's for sale at the Bookworm, um, other locations around town. I know we're going to be giving you guys yes. um, many copies to have at your location, Absolutely. Um, which is 118th yes. and Q Street. Yes. Um, so again, thank you so much for joining me. Yeah, um, it's a pleasure. Yeah, I just really appreciate everything you do. Thank you. And thank you. And we will be right back. Mm -hmm.